I am continuing my coverage of this amazing tool from Dorian Darko, the Maestro. Maestro is a framework for coordinating or orchestrating AI agents. Earlier, I did a video where I showed you how to install this Maestro locally and then integrate it with Olama. I will also drop the link to that video in the suggestions towards the end of the video or you could search it on the channel. In this video, we will look at how can we integrate this master tool with LM Studio. Before that, let me give you a quick overview of this tool. When we say AI agent orchestration, what we mean is to coordinate and manage multiple AI agents or models to achieve a common goal or task. These agents may be specialized in different areas such as NLP or anything else. And orchestration ensures that these agents work together seamlessly sharing information and leveraging each other's strengths to improve overall objective task. So what happens in this master is that we specify some of the local models or API based models, and then we give it a objective. And on the basis of that objective, the master orchestrate or the, or distribute the task among various sub agents, those sub agents perform their actions and then they report back to orchestrator and that is what we are going to see in this video you can use this maestro with openai with uh, anthropics cloud with google's gemini but for this one i'm just going to go with the local models we already have seen with olama and now we are going to see it with lm studio now first up before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mass compute for sponsoring the vm and the gpu which i'm going to use for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable price i will highly recommend them i will drop the link to their website in videos description and also i'm going to give you a 50 percent coupon which is uh, which can be used with range of gpus okay so let me take you to first my terminal this is my terminal where i'm running ubuntu 22.0 zero four and i have one gpu card of 48 gb vram courtesy mass compute let me clear the screen and i in the course of my previous video i already have created um, the virtual environment for maestro so i'm going to use that if you don't know how to use it uh, conda i have done various videos on conda just check it out you should be able to do it easily Next up, all you need to do is to git clone the repo of Maestro. So simply type git clone and then the repo URL and I will drop the link in video description. Once you do that, simply cd to that directory. Let me clear the screen. And that is all you need to do in terms of uh, downloading and installing this Maestro. For prerequisites, if you don't have it already, simply install pip install olama and transformers and torch so once you have it you should all set to go now once you are here um, and we want to integrate it with lm studio you need to of course install lm studio locally i already have it installed if you don't know how to do it simply go to lm studio dot ai from there just select your operating system linux windows and mac and then just it's next 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 and you should be able to install it fairly easily it's very very easy to once you have it next i already have installed so i'm just opening it by double clicking on the lm studio and then from here i i'm just going to make it slightly bigger okay so you see i'm going to use llama 38 billion as my model with this so i'm just going to type it here and it should come up fairly quickly now i'm going to go with the quantized version of it and how would you know which quantized version to use you can use any quantized version of llama 3 but for this one i'm just going to go with uh, one of the provided ones in which is already provided in their repo so let me paste it here and we'll search with it so i'm just going to paste it full model name here so i'm asking meta llama 38 billion instruct gduf and then i'm just going to go with lm studios own one so i'm just we'll just click here and then just for to make it 
as performant as possible i'm just going to download this 8.54 gb1 so let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will proceed further or in fact let me quickly show you why i am downloading what i'm downloading so i'm in the terminal let me make the screen bit shorter so i'm again in the terminal if i do the ls dash ltr you will see we have this maestro dash lm studio file I'm just opening it and once you open you see we need three models orchestrator which will distribute the task sub agent and refiner which will refine the task and sub agent will actually perform the task so for all of these we have specified this model lm studio dash community meta llama 38 billion instruct if you want to use like 70 billion or your own model just replace these values here and then by default, the, Ola, uh, the LM Studio server starts at localhost and at th this port. And this is the OpenAI API compatible v1 endpoint. So this is all set here. So I'm just going to quit without saving anything here. And that is what you need to set. And that's all good. Let's go back to LM Studio to see what is happening there. You see it is still being downloaded. Should it take too long now? almost there so let's wait for it to download so the model is downloaded and you can see the file here let's click on these three dots and load the model here let's wait for it to fully load and one thing uh, the creator of this tool suggests is that we should remove any system prompt so i'm just going to remove it from here and then maybe i'm not even going to select uh, any anyway, preset is fine i'll just remove it the system prompt also let's also offload all the layers to gpu where is my layers these are my layers these are my layers and let's reload the model here let's wait for it that is done now on the left hand side click on this local server the double er uh, ended arrow from here simply the model is loaded and then just click here on this start server and that is going to start serving this model on the local host at port 1234 as you can see port is here and now lm studio is all set to go and now we we can run our maestro dash lm studio for that all you need to do is to just do python 3 maestro dash lm studio and you can run it let me do it and you can see that it is just asking me to give my objective so i'm just going to ask it um what is two plus five simple object let me press enter i don't want to use search and then it is calling the orchestrator and then it is calling the result for it and then it has given me a final answer here to for and it has just given given me this um, code and i hadn't asked it for code by the way now if you scroll up you will see it is saying that the previous objective was simply asking for the result of 2 plus 5 which is 7 so orchestrator has itself returned but then it is just sending the task to haiku and this haiku and others are not um lm studios models these are anthropics models so i'm not sure why it is putting in here uh, anyway we'll try another one to see what exactly it is doing because with the olama one it was clearly telling us that it was olama and now but it is doing something because i haven't set any anthropic clouds api key so there is no way it would be calling those apis i think it is calling lm studio but uh, it is just mistakenly typing out haiku and opus anyway let's clear the screen and let's try to run it again and we will give it another objective so it is asking me what is your objective um to earn money do we want to search nope it is calling the orchestrator you see there is also some sort of going around so you see it is saying that since there are no previous subtask result, we'll start by breaking down the objective. And then it has created the objective around it. And now it is going to distribute it among different sub-agents. 
and if you look at uh, here it is actually calling lm studio so if i just take you there you see here it is just coming running it with llama 38 billion in structured here so i think what our other terminal is showing it is just this sending task to haiku is not correct anyway so it is so it you see the other one has sorry i'm just scrolling up to show you what happened there it is quite quick because it is all running locally so you see uh, when we gave it this objective orchestrator has created a prompt it has created some con tasks for the sub agents then it offloaded it uh, the task to the agents where it is coming up with potential source of income and then once that's done it is creating the plan for every each one of the tool here and once that's done it is doing the code review and then again it's sent back to orchestrator orchestrator has come up with more tasks and then the final output is here how good is that and then it even created the project folder refined the final output freelance writing and then the whole log has been put in here and then you see all of this is here great stuff so really amazing as usual i mean i have done the other video too on the olama one it was also awesome really very impressed by the tool here so uh, both with lm studio both with all olama it works like a charm i think in the lm studio one it has some typos but other than really negligible but other than that really amazing let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this repo in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching